Hi, I'm Renata Clanton Moyd. I'm a communications specialist with the Cumberland County Schools. Most people can see that the job of a school principal isn't without its numerous challenges. Every day, principals enter their school buildings prepared to wear many hats as they interact with students, teachers, staff, parents, and the administration. Ultimately, our principals will do whatever it takes to make things work so their teachers can teach and their students can learn. Now, in the next several minutes, you'll get to hear how our Principal of the Year nominees go the distance every day. To be a principal, you have to be a great communicator. You have to be one that when you're walking down the hallway and a teacher stops you dead in your tracks, I've, can I talk to you for just a minute? Even though you've got three other fires that you need to put out, you need to stop right then and you've got to talk and hear what's going on. To be a principal, you have to be a person with a sense of humor. Um, you're going to run into things throughout the day that you just, it's going to surprise you, shock you, and just crack you up sometimes. So I think to be a principal, you have to have a sense of humor. And understand that um, what you expect to happen may be entirely different than what happens, and you have to be able to roll with it and deal with it and keep going. I was sitting in the classroom one day, and a little boy said to me, he said, Miss Ford, you do a lot for us in our classroom. What do you do for the other kids in the school? And I thought about it and I said, what do I do for the other kids in the school? And I sat there and I sat there and I said, my dad was a principal, I can do this too. You impact more lives as a principal. I knew that I wanted to be a principal when I observed my father. I'm a daddy's girl, naturally. And the impact that he made as an elementary school principal and also as a high school principal really and truly impacted me. And I've always wanted to follow in his footsteps. So I would have to say it was because of my father that I want to be a principal. I was sitting one day with a child and we were having a, a parent meeting. And so while the parent meeting was going on with the classroom teacher, I was trying to somewhat keep the student entertained. So we had a book and we were reading this book and it was about a princess who was being very naughty. So she ended up putting jello in the bathtub and she was jumping on the jello, having a wonderful time. And so as the little girl and I were looking at the book and we were talking about her behavior, she looked at me and she went, ooh, she needs a whooping. And I said, excuse me? <laughs> and she said it again. One day at lunch, I was greeting boys and girls in the cafeteria. And I leaned over a table to greet a young fellow. Hello, how are you today? And he grabbed my badge, my name badge, and looked at it. And he looked at me. And he looked at the badge. He said, is this you? And I said, yes, it is. And he said, wow, you used to be really pretty. I will never forget that. I'm inspired every day to give my all when I see the influence that the work that I'm doing has on changing lives of the people that I come into contact with. Be it faculty members, be it community persons, be it parents, be it students, we are influencers and therefore we're impacting the future one child, one person at a time. As educators, not just principals, but educators, we're in an odd profession. We get up every single morning and go to work and we, it's not that we don't care about our success, but we don't do a day's work for our success. We do a day's work for the success of the students. You know, there's a lot of kids that are walking the hallways that, you know, I, I feel that I have to have an impact on and, it, you know, you just, you feel like you got to be there for them. You can't, you can't let them down. Because we mold their lives each and every day. The power that teachers have, the power that administrators have in that time frame that we have just to mold those babies and to teach them. And I mean, that's just awesome power that we have. Because of the children. When I see them get out of the cars in the mornings, it truly makes me know I'm there for a reason. Don't, don't do this one. I don't want to cry. 
If I'd not become principal, I probably would be either a dance teacher or a motorcycle instructor. Definitely stay in the field of education. And if I had not become a principal or a teacher, I probably would have been a doctor, a pediatric doctor. Probably be an actor or professional surfer living in Hawaii, waiting tables at night and surfing all day. You didn't know that, did you? No, that was completely new information. <laughs> or a DJ. <laughs> I used to have DJ skills. My biggest challenge as a principal is having to deal with those difficult situations, those critical conversations that come our way when um, I'm dealing with a situation with a student, maybe it's with a, a teacher, maybe it's, maybe it's even with a parent. Dr. Till said that we're shock absorbers, and I think that's such a good analogy because the principal manages the, the mandates, the budget, everything that comes down from the top, so to speak. My biggest challenge as a principal is realizing that I cannot save the entire world in one day. That it does take time and you have to have processes and procedures in place and you have to keep at it every day, but you ha it does take time. The sweetest reward of being a principal is getting access to 720 hugs every day when I get hugs from these sweet little babies every day, when they come up to me and they say, Miss Daniels, I want to hug you. The hugs from the babies. <laughs> those hugs that you get from those babies, that's the sweetest reward. To be a good listener, I think that's important, that you take the time and you listen. Um, I think that's what builds relationships with people. I think that helps you in making your decision. The best advice I can give to a new principal is sometimes to say, um, at least an hour a day, go in your office, close the door, and take time for you. Don't think you're the smartest or you know everything. You can't go in there and say, you know, I'm the boss, I'm the man, I'm the woman, you're in, I'm in charge, you're going to listen to me, because once you do that, then you're not going to have any support. Those folks are going to be there to make you or break you, and you need to make sure that you take care of the teachers there, the custodians, the cafeteria staff, everybody that's in that building needs to be treated exactly the same. For new principals, find some way in your life to keep a balance, because if you don't, you'll be crazy. <laughs> Well, the one thing I know for sure is, is that every day when I walk out of the building and I take that deep breath and I look over my shoulder and, and I see Reed Ross Classical School, it's just, it just it feels great every day to just walk out, even on the hard days. You know in the end that it's just a, it's a great place to be. The one thing I know for sure is that I love my job. I am so blessed to have my job. Every day when I walk in that building, um, it is my job to ensure that those students get the best every day. The, the one thing I know for sure is that public education is a great thing. Going the distance means that you're going to do whatever it takes by any means necessary to make a positive impact. You're going to let no barriers stand in your way. That means that each and every day when we get up, you know, our job is to go into that school and to give our all for those kids. Basically starting with the end in mind, where are you going and how are you going to get there? And making sure that every step of the way is, is considered, thought through, uh, processed in making the next decision. That going the distance is never giving up, um, no, matter, no matter what obstacles you face, uh, and, and they will be there for you each and every day, but never give up. You gotta go the distance and work as hard as you can at whatever it is so that your students and your school can be successful. Going the distance to me means giving it your all. It means um, being there for the kids no matter what, being there for your families no matter what, being there for your teachers no matter what. But I think that pushing children is going distance, pushing them in a good way so that they can become successful. So staying on top of things I truly believe um, makes all the difference in the world and just being there for your students, teachers and parents.
It means doing whatever you have to do to make a positive difference in the lives of our children and their families. Personal and professional sacrifice, hard work and dedication are what principals in the Cumberland County Schools bring to students, faculty and staff each day. Never settling for mediocrity, but always striving to be a step above. Cumberland County School principals, we salute you for going the distance.